by going through the answers from question six onwards, because they look like the slightly trickier questions to me. So use counters on a place value chart to work out 23 times 10. I just wanted to go over the use of place value chart with you. So I'm going to start by drawing myself a chart. That's it, and I'm going to label each colour. I am only going to use my ones and my tens and my hundreds. Now, if you remember what we said in the video, multiplied times by 10 can also be seen scaling. So if you go from 1 to the 10, you're increasing by 10 in size. And if you're making it 10 times bigger, and then going from the 10 column to the 100 column, you're multiplying by 10, or you're making that 10 times bigger. So basically, when we multiply by 10, we are trying to make our number 10 times bigger. So let me put 23 into our uh, place value chart. We have a 2, 10, and 3, 10. Okay, so what I now need to do is to make 23 10 times bigger. So I'm going to move my 2, 10 into the 100 column and make my 2, 10 into 200. Now 10 times bigger. I'm going to move my 3 from the 1's colour into the 10's colour. So my 3 has now become 30, which is 10 times bigger, and I have nothing left in my 1's colour. So I now have 230. So remember, when you are holding down by 10, you're increasing the size by 10, you're making it 10 times bigger, and you go to one place. Let's move on. Okay, now this question is an easy question, which I'm sure you can all do, but you really do need to read the information in the boxes. What I'm going to do to answer these questions and find the odd one out, as it says in the question, is answer each one individually. So let's start with box number one here. There are 10 teams with 7 players on each team. Okay, 10 teams, 7 players. So I've got 10 teams, I have 7 players, so I have got 10 groups, 10 groups of 7, so I have 7 players. Let's move on. I have 10 red flowers and 7 yellow flowers. Oh, so it's not groups. Here I'm just adding, so I've got 10 and 7, which is 17 flowers. And in my final box here, there are seven ten frames with ten pounds in each. So I've got seven groups of ten. Also known as seven ten. So if we look at the information we've got, we can tell that this middle box is the odd one out because the answer or the total number of items in each box is seventeen, whereas the other two boxes both have seventeen. Moving on. Okay, now this one, I think you will be able to do mostly by yourself, so I'll just read through one or two answers. When I'm answering questions like this, I can put an imaginary place value chart in my head, and with all the numbers, one place, two, three left, and I put in my placeholder, so my answer is 460. This question here says 6 times 10, 360. This one, this is back to front, the equal sign is in the wrong place, in a different place. So 10 times 78 is 718. I think you can have a go at most of those. Oh, let's have a look at eight. So 670 equals 2 times 5 times 17. Let me leave like that. 670 equals, what does 2 times 5 make? That's right, that makes 10. So 10 times what makes 670? That's right. 67. And if you do your check, 67 times 10 equals 670. So we've done it quite certainly, I'm sure. Let me just go through, um, I'm just having a look, E for you, and I'm going to just show you how to add E with my place value chart. So I'm going to draw my place value chart first. There we go. I'm going to label my column 1. 10 and 100, and I know my answer this time is 130. So I have a number which I made 10 times bigger by going towards the left, and I got 140. So I want 
to find out what the original number was. So I'm going to go backwards. So I'm going to go the other way to make it 10 times smaller. And my answer is going to be 4. And leave that one there because I think we'll be getting better at those ones. Right. Eva walked 60 metres to school. Teddy walked 10 times as far as Eva to school. How far does Teddy walk? So Eva walked 60 metres. Teddy walks 10 times more. So 10 times further. So we're going to multiply by 10. So we have got 600 metres for Teddy. It's a nice long walk in. Right. Amir thinks of a two digit number. He multiplies it by 10. Write all the numbers. Now, this is quite a tricky one because he's got a two digit number, he multiplies it by 10, and the answer is here. And it's very easy just to tell me the multiple of 10 rather than the two digit number. <laughs> Let's think about it. If I had any two digit number, for example, 27, and I multiplied it by 10, I would get 270. So you can see from here, and you also know anyway, all multiples of 10 have a zero in one column. So I'm going to start by looking at all the multiples of 10 between 755 and 795. Okay, so 755, the next multiple of 10 is 750. After that I have 770, then I have 780. Then I have 790, and after that we have 800, that is not within our range. Very easy to put that down as your answer, but that is not the question. Let's go back to the question. Amir thinks of a two-digit number, which he multiplies by 10. So we could have 76, we could have 77, we could have 78, or we could have Get that one right. Okay, we're getting into the more advanced mathematics now. Problem solving and the music. Okay, last question. Another slightly tricky one. Chocolates come in eight box in boxes of eight and ten. Rosie needs eight chocolates. What boxes did she buy? Okay, let's pretend she just died boxes of eight. Okay, so and we know she wants eighty. So what time eight? Will give me 80, the answer is 10. So she can have 10 of these boxes. So let's move over to the box for 10. Okay, so we can have just boxes of 10. Okay, so I've got so many boxes of 10, my answer 80. Sorry, sorry, no 80. How many boxes? That's why I hope so she can have 80 of these boxes. I'm wondering, can she have a combination of the two boxes? Hmm. Now, because Miss Lima is so good at her time schedule, I know that 8 times 5 is 40, and 40 is half of 80. So I'm going to actually have 40 chocolates made out of these boxes of 8, and another 40 chocolates from the boxes of 10. Okay, so far, what, what times 8 makes 40? What is it? That's right, it's, it's 5. So I can have 5 boxes here. What times 8 makes. Um, so, what times 10 makes 44? So I can have 4 boxes red. So I could actually have. Five boxes of eight, which makes 40. Four boxes of 40, which makes 40. And then um, another one makes chocolates. Okay? So I would have five, four times um, box of eight times five. So I would have five of those, and I would have four times ten, which would make nine boxes. So it says, what is the fewest number of boxes for us to be to buy? And the answer is eight. You can buy eight boxes of ten chocolates. Okay, I hope that helps you out. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you.